Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will learn about logical operators and ternary operator. So logical operators are used to determine the logic between variables or values. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at an example. So I'm going to create a variable here called x, assign this a value 10, and we'll create another variable called y, assign this a value 20. Now if I print this out, And I want to do, let's say, if x is greater than 5. Well, in this case, if I obviously run this, yep, it is true. But here I want to check, let's see, if y is less than 30. So how do I do that? I mean, I don't want to create another console log over here. I want to make sure it's in the same line. If x is greater than 5 and if y is less than 30. So to do that, we can actually take advantage of the end operator. So this is basically the end operator. You add two ends over here. And then you can add in your next statement. So I want to say if y is less than 30, now if I run this, it prints out true because that's true. X is greater than 5 and y is less than 30. Now let's see if I change this to if y is greater than 30 and we know it's not. So this is going to be true and this is going to be false. So what will happen if we actually print this? Well, let's run. Is this what you guessed? Well, what happened is we did x is greater than uh, 5, which is true, and is y is less than uh, 30. y is greater than 30. In this case, it's not. y is less than 30. So that's false. So when you do true and false, it actually returns false over here. So I'm going to add this over here just for you to remember. So I'll just say remember. Okay, so what we are doing is when we do a condition true and false, this will always returns false. Now if we do let's say false and true, so if we do false and true, so what would this return? Well let's try it out. So I'm going to do if x is less than 5 and y is less than 30. So in this case we know that this is false and this is true. So if we run this, well this also prints out false. So false and true also prints out false. I'm going to add that over here. Okay so maybe I want to check out well I get it if x is greater than uh, less than 5 I want to check out from the next condition and I don't care if I want either one of the situation to be true I want it to actually return true so in this case we want both the conditions to be true in order to get true if either one of those are false we will actually get false but what if there's a scenario where you don't care if both the situations are true if either one of them are true you can actually proceed so in this case we can take advantage of something called an R operator so the way that works is if I do console.log here and I'm going to do x is less than 5, same as above. And this time I'm going to take advantage of the OR operator, which is basically this two pipe sign over here. And if I do same thing, y is less than 30. So here we obviously know that x is not less than 5, it's greater than 5. So this will be false. But here we do know that y is less than 30. If I run this, there you go, the second one actually printed out true. So what happened there? So what the way the R operator works is either of this condition, if it's true, it will return true. So if I add this over here, so for R operator, the way this works is if we do, let's say false or true, this will return as true. And if I do, let's say true or false, this will also return as true. So we can test it out. I'm going to change this x is greater than 5 and y is greater than 30. If I run this, there you go. It's still true. So obviously x is greater than 5. It's a true statement. y greater than 30. Nope, not a true statement. y is less than 30. So this is basically how it will work. So key thing to remember, with end operator, you want both the condition to be true in order to get a true statement or true value out of it in return. And for the OR operator, either one of the value can be true and we will actually get the true value being printed out. Alright, so I hope that made sense. We're going to look into the next operator now, which is called the ternary operator. And it's also called actually the conditional operator. Conditional operator. So the way this works is basically the syntax for that is you have a variable name which you will create and there will be some kind of condition over here. So there is some condition and we add this question mark. If that condition is true, we get this first value. If the condition is false, we get the second value. So what's happening over here? Well, what we're saying is create a variable. 
and then whatever the condition is if i'm checking for let's say something someone is eligible to drive if that condition is true it's going to assign this this value if that condition is false it's going to assign this value so let's take a look at an example so i'm going to create a variable call it age assign this to 17 create another variable called allowed to drive and here i'm going to assign age and then i'm adding my condition here i'm doing if age is greater than 18 in that case i'm going to say you are eligible otherwise i'm going to say you are not eligible so what's happening here so we are actually saying hey if age is greater than 18 which is our condition then you are eligible to basically drive if it's not then you are not eligible so this is my true statement this is my false statement so if i print this out i'm going to do console.log print out allowed to drive let's see what happens and it's going to be the third one over here so keep in mind all right so we got this you are not eligible because age is not 18 age is 17 let's see if i change this to 20 and if i run here yep you are eligible awesome so in this scenario wherever you want to check off for some particular condition and you want to add in some value out of that let's say you want to check if something is uh, true or not we can add this kind of condition over here and obviously here you can put anything you want it doesn't necessarily have to be string it can be some other big operation that you're doing over here which can take like let's say a lot of time even that would work same thing over here it doesn't have to be string you can put anything over here as long as whatever you are putting it over here can get assigned to that variable and when you print that out that's the value you're going to get over here all right so that was it for logical and ternary operator you can access this link in the resources section and try this out on your own and once you're done i will see you in the next lecture